of my favorite songs from Fallout Boy, Disloyal Order of Water Buffaloes. It's the opening track of their fourth album, perhaps. Anyway, let's break down the parts. We're in a drop D standard tuning. So standard tuning, drop bottom E is tuned down to a D, uh, and we're in the key of D major. Let's look at that intro riff. Okay, so we're up at the seventh fret. We're doing open D string and then seventh fret, seventh fret on the G and the B strings. That gives you a, a sort of a D major. It's not a triad, it's only got the root and the third. Um, but then what he's gonna do is gonna drop the F sharp. So seventh fret B string is gonna drop down that down to the fifth fret, the E note, and then back up. So it's sort of like a D to a D sus two, and then back goes like this. <laughs> Okay, picking hand is all uh, down, up, down, up. Uh, key really is with your right hand, uh, try not to hit the open A string, and with your thumb, definitely mute that, uh, that E string. So you really only want those three strings, the D, G, and B strings to, to ring out. Okay, so we're down, up, down, up, down. And then again, down, up, down. That part there, you're bringing in on the on the upstroke where you're releasing your pinky finger down to your first finger on the fifth fret. That is the intro. Uh, let's have a look at it when the, the band kicks in. All right, when the band comes in, we're doing a sort of a full uh, D power chord, that drop D. Okay, so it's all strings except for the high E there. Um, so it is sort of the, the top of a D. Just don't play that high note there. Again, when you're in drop D, that's a great sound. Okay, and then we're going to an A5, G5, so it's a one, five, four, very, very common, but with that intro riff going underneath, it sounds, sounds really great. Um, so we're gonna be doing a seventh fret, fifth fret, drop D power chord. So it's just the bottom three strings. Uh, lie your third fingers down on the bottom three, and then your first finger. Okay, that's that part when the band kicks in, but it also turns into uh, to that verse. So let's look at the next section, which would be the pre-chorus. Okay, pre-chorus, he's got this sort of a... That sort of a sound there. So uh, it's all single note, palm muting on the A string, second fret, that's the B, uh, and then an open, just the A note, second fret, G string. Okay, then you're moving the bass note around. You're keeping that A uh, on the G string as you move it around. So second fret, A string, second fret, bottom string, which is actually an E note, but it's on the second fret there. Again, we're in drop D. Uh, open A string, and then we've got an open D, and he hits the fifth fret A string and slides it down. And repeats. Okay, the last time he does that. Okay, so just the first two parts. And then sort of an open A string, and then the octave A. Then pick softly, maybe roll your volume down a little bit, and we're gonna move up a G major, A major, B minor. But the voicings, again, because you're in drop D, are really, really cool. Okay, so we're gonna be doing fifth fret. Uh, looks like an A, but it's actually a G. Drop D again. Uh, open D string and the fourth fret, that B, that gives you a G, a G major triad there, G triad. Um, I'm doing pick and fingers there, so. Pick on the bottom and then second finger, third finger. If you're not comfortable with hybrid picking, you could use your pick for everything. Okay, but picking fingers is a really good technique. I would get used to it. Okay, then move that straight up again. Now you're in sort of an A add four, okay? Just because that open D string is still there. Move it up again, two frets, but now you need to drop your first finger down. So third finger, ninth fret, open D string again, and then first finger, seventh fret on the G. Okay. Then 
the bass note. And then coming back down, down and on when he goes back down to that uh, that G there, uh, that riff, intro riff comes in again. And then we're into the chorus. Let's look at the chorus. Okay, chorus to me sounds uh, like they're doing this sort of a downstroke uh, eighth notes all on power chords. <laughs> That sort of a feel. So I'm doing a D5 there to a G5, B5, A5. So that's the open D power chord. And then five, nine, seven with those drop D power chords. You can play it slightly differently. Instead of that D, you could do this one. Again, you mix it up, two guitars, it sounds good to do slightly different voicings of the same thing. Um, I think live, Patrick, when he goes to the B, which is the ninth fret there, will often hit a B minor here, like this. And the A there. So again, it's the same chords, but different voicings sound uh, really good. Okay, last, last part's that little sort of melody line. It's really hard to hear, but I think it gives the chorus a really great, really fills it out beautifully. Um, and he's doing this sort of a. Doesn't sound like anything on its own there, but when you add it to the chorus, it sounds great. So I'm doing it all on the B string and the G string. Um, I'm doing 10, nine, uh, eight, nine, seven, that sort of thing, that little melody line. All right, Fallout Boy, Disloyal Order of Water Buffalo's good luck. See you next time.